Hi, I'm David and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I will show you 10 things that you must know about plant cells. A plant cell wall composed of cellulose, but it is not the only substance found in the cell wall. A matrix composed of hemicellulose and pectin can be found here as well. In some plant cells, there is a secondary cell wall found between the primary cell wall and the plasma membrane. This is where you will find additional materials such as lignin and suberin. They are rigid and thick, as their function is to provide mechanical support to the cell. Unlike the thinner and more flexible primary cell wall, it cannot be altered to allow for expansion. With that said, cells with secondary cell wall will stop expanding. Middle lamella is found between plant cells. It is made largely of pectin. It glues and holds the adjacent cell walls together. Calcium is also found here. And this explains why calcium is one of the essential minerals for plants. There are channels passing through the cell wall called plasmodesmata. They allow communication between adjacent plant cells. The endoplasmic reticulum of these plant cells is connected by a structure known as desmotubule. The vacuole is not just a space in the plant cell, it is a membrane-bound organelle. The membrane is known as tonoplast. Apart from storing cell sap and providing turgidity to plant cell, the vacuole also has some other functions, for example, as the storage site for pigments in petals, proteins in seeds, waste products, active compounds, and other chemicals. Xylem and phloem are two types of vascular tissue. They are not the name of the cells. Xylem tissue is made of cells called tracheid and xylem vessel, while phloem is mainly made up of cells known as sieve tube element and companion cells. Plant cells are lacking centrioles, but they still form spindle fiber during mitosis. Plastids are double membrane bound organelles found in plant cells, but there is more than one type of plastids. Some of them contain pigments, for example, the most well known plastid of all chloroplasts, and some of them do not contain pigments, for example, the starch storing plastid and myoplasts. In plant cells, both mitochondria and chloroplasts can produce ATP, but the energy used to produce ATP in mitochondria comes from the respiratory substrate such as glucose, and the energy used to synthesize ATP in chloroplasts comes from the light. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.